Welcome back, this is part 9 from Angular Dart tutorial. Please make sure to check the previous videos and let's get started. As we can see that inside the in memory data now we have the function and that will be returned as a function from the memory data. So actually we are gonna remove this one and we will pass our our handler. So that's the idea that I said that we will use the handler here. The, so the, inside the handler, the first thing we'll do is the get uh, request, and for that we're going to check first if the courses DB is not empty or null. So we just if cor we say if courses DB is equal to null, then we do the reset DB again, and then and we will make uh, our data. So because we don't know what kind of data will be back, or maybe we know already, but just uh, side note here and then uh, we will do switching here so actually this will uh, switch to to the request the request that passed and then we just say method and we will use the case first case and we say if the case first case is get and here we uh, need to extra extract the ID here and then we just say uid is bring us the request dot url and then uh, to uh, you can use the path, uh, path segments here and that will bring us our latest uh, last element or maybe last uh, path segment uh, attribute and then we'll say if uid not equal uh, to null and and then we check if the uid not equal to uh, courses again and then you say if uid is uh, not empty in this case that we know that uh, the uid is passed so this will be used so actually here it will be used in uh, for uh, bringing the uh, the get single element so one uh, the, uh, single data so get single course otherwise what I'm going to do is uh, bring the string here so I'm gonna say string prefix and that's what we'll do is take the request URL and then query params or query parameters and then bring us to the title again this one is will check if there is the title is exist otherwise it will be empty so uh, this uh, needed because uh, we're going to do also a filtering feature so we will pass the title here and then from this uh, title will uh, yeah we will make an, a filtering otherwise it will be empty and if we will check if this empty then uh, we bring our uh, the whole data and that will be handled via dart language so we'll say final here and then uh, a regular expression here and that will be regular expression and we take a prefix also we take the case sensitive and we say false and what we're going to do is saying the data is equal to courses db and then where you see that the element here what whatever the element will be passed so i'm going to use the just el small uh, shortcut and we say if the element dot title and if the element dot title contains my regular expression again then we say this one to have how to be to, uh, as a list so the idea is here actually that we uh, we check if there is a title otherwise uh, that's not a title otherwise is uh, otherwise it will bring us uh, the whole data so it will uh, make just uh, uh, bring us the whole data that comes from uh, 
in the database but if we back to the single element what we're going to do is easy just say like data and then we just make a course course db and then uh, we will check first where again this courses db is actually in just a courses so i can bring just element and you can say just course and then we will check if element dot uid is equal to my uid and this will not throw an error because we have checked already if the uid is exist and also is not empty and in the end we will what we will do is actually we'll make a break here that our uh, get element and get uh, courses is done so in case of uh, the post we just uh, make a new case here and just say we post this one and what we're going to do is bring us uh, bring the title and we just say request or maybe json the decode and that will be inside the body so request dot body and then bring us the title so whatever the title is this is not gonna be uh, invalidation here just whatever the title it will be come again then we cannot use final because this one is not uh, predictable so that's why we have to use far here oh, okay sorry so sorry this for this one and then we will use for uh, also for uh, the price so actually we just need to think about the required uh, element that we need to use so that will be request also dot um, body and then uh, price since these uh, uh, variables will be uh, the same so what we're going to do is check uh, about the other again and just we uh, need to use the other here so this other required field and now what we're going to do is make a new course so just say uh, for course or maybe new course we just say course here again inside the course here uh, we need to use the uid as the first element and here what we're going to do is the using the uid so uid version 4 and then the title so this will be the title and then we have the author and price and you could you could pass the other data or you could make a new uh, function helper that goes through the elements inside the body and then uh, retrieve the data to uh, to an actual uh, to an actual data and make a new course so actually this uh, i made this one required so it will be easy just for the sake of the uh, course now what we're going to do is easy just would say courses db and then add our new course and we need to pass also to say that the, the, our data it will be the the new course that is created that's just to know that uh, the data will be uh, the, the data will uh, returned as a new course again we use a break here and we will go uh, to another case and the other case it will be in the put so the edit or the update and here we need to think about the uh, we need to bring us uh, the data from the course from JSON so we'll let's say uh, let's say that's a far uh, course changes or maybe change yeah changes make more sense and we just say uh, course dot from JSON and then we pass JSON decode and that will be request actually you could use also this one uh, to retrieve the data as here so instead of using the course changes here you just say a new course and you bring it from json and you pass the data with the decoded and then you will have your titles and then all the elements 
Now what we uh, are going to do is ch check in for the target course and the target course it will be uh, we will use the course data and then you just say first where and that's to bring us our uh, course so let's say CR and then we just say CR uh, we check just for the UUID that equal to courses changes dot UID. So that's bring us our uh, target data from the courses DB. Now we have the target data, and now what we're going to uh, to update is just the title because for now we we do have just the title. Uh, we can update it, so we will do just for the title. So we say target course dot uh, title is equal to course changes dot title, and we just suppose the data is the target course, and also we break this. Again, if we go to uh, another one, so we'll just say delete. Again, we don't have uh, we have a delete implementation, and what we're going to do is just uh, extracting the, the UID. So this will be JSON, or maybe request dot URL, and that will be part segments and last. And here, what we do is just make again. We take the courses DB and then we say just first where, but there is, uh, we can bring uh, the element before, but we, we can do is remove where and remove where it do the same. Just the difference is that uh, it, uh, it should meet the condition, otherwise it's not going to work. So element.uid is equal to my UID. And then again, we say the data now here is equal to my new course data because the course data is updated with uh, with the new elements. And that's it. So we'll break here this one and then we will just say default. So this is for the default case. And for default case, I will throw uh, maybe an error and we'll say uh, an implemented uh, method something like this or maybe HTTP uh, request or maybe I, I, will, I will say just method and that's better uh, unimplemented HTTP method and then we will use request not method So that's it for our uh, HTTP class. Now we have, uh, sorry, for in memory data class. Now we need to update our surfaces to use this data instead of using the marking data that is there. One last thing we need to do is actually return the data. So what we need to do outside of the switch statement, we just say return and that will be response. And then response, we take the JSON here and then we just say encode the data as data here again this method takes many arguments and then one of them is 200 means this one is successful and then also we could bring our headers here so let me bring this one in a new line and inside the headers what we can do is bring uh, the content uh, type so let's say content type and that will be application json so that's the last thing we did uh, we have to do inside uh, inside the in memory data surface now everything is okay now we need to implement it in the surfaces so the idea is here that um, we're going to you implement these uh, surfaces or maybe the in-memory data inside the surfaces. But before that, we're going to uh, so we, I'm going to do make uh, surfaces here. So inside, not outside of the component, 
and adjust in the source we'll make a new folder and then we will call the surfaces and that will be actually the public surfaces that we uh, it will be the shared uh, surfaces so first one is the uh, I will call this one a helper surface so actually uh, anything related to any surface and that will be uh, injected or implemented in any component to uh, just for help functions then we need to put it inside the helper for surfaces and we just make a new uh, make a new our function so first we will start by injectable again and then so that's our uh, function and then we uh, our uh, package so class i will call this helper surface So the helper surface, uh, we can use uh, some uh, functions here. One of them I will use is just for simplifying the error. I will just exception, make the some uh, um, function to simplify the the error. So I'll make this one and simplify, and that's what will take. It will take dynamic any argument, and then it will return through exception again you can uh, customize which type of exception here but what i'm going to do is bring this will be maybe client error and here i will use an array and we say just the cause and here i will use element here to string so whatever the uh, whatever the error will come from the from the exception it will be passed here and it will be to string and then it will be printed that's one of them and the other one is dynamic so this one for extracting the data and that will make the response so it will take the response and we'll say response here and that will return json json we need to import it so json decode and that will be response dot body and then we will extract the data from it so now we have two functions inside the helper surface that we need it later now we're going to make a new uh, surface we call this is client so again the naming here and maybe i will call this one with the underscore makes more sense also this one sometimes i forgot this to make uh, underscore and now inside the client surface what we're going to do is first thing is bring us uh, our package so import package angular dart and then we say just say injectable here again i don't understand why it's not predicted doesn't matter so class i will say class uh, so this will be the client surface And I will extend our helper surface here. So the functions that inside the helper functions will be available uh, without any uh, without any instance of helper surface. And what we're going to do is first I will make a new client, and that will be from our client HTTP. Again, make this one more private. Also, I'm going to do uh, make some uh, functions here. So say uh, const. and that will be our uh, base url so we could use uh, base here and that will be an api courses static and i will also make some uh, headers so we'll say static final headers here so this is our headers now what we need to do is just make the client surface and we just pass our client to it so this will be good all and then we will just make future and then that will be list of courses and uh, please start formatting because I'm um, get really crazy here so it doesn't matter I'm not gonna wait so I will just say try also using the catch 
and here uh, uh, the dynamic error will be passed and also we just use our function is we just uh, say through and then we pass our uh, argument so this will simple simplifying the error and then we will pass our uh, uh, argument here which is in dynamic now inside this one what we're going to do is just make the final and then make just some uh, functions here we just say response are waiting for our client and that will bring us our uh, courses or maybe what we can do is paste URL actually just paste and then what we need to do maybe is not uh, necessary but I'm going to also put our headers uh, here again this headers is not necessary because any request to the in-memory data it will be uh, um, back with the headers because we already hard-coded the headers there but that's just uh, an extra info now what we're going to do is take the final and we just make a courses uh, and data and we use uh, a courses uh, variable and what we're going to do is make an extract data so again this extract data it will be inside the helper surface and what we need to pass is the response but we need to always to say this is as a list otherwise this not gonna recognizable as well throw, throw an error for typing inside the dart again this one is might be is not necessary here so I'll, unless you do uh, like this but you can also make a variable and then return it but we need to do some uh, manipulation for the data so let's say that we have map and that will bring us our JSON and then uh, we just say course from JSON and then uh, we pass our JSON data and then we say to list so this actually can be and um, also in the whole uh, thing it can be also in one line but it will be also nice to uh, format it like this and also I like it and I like the uh, how the dart uh, the Dart language handled the formatting this uh, in this way. So no, so now we have our uh, future list of courses, and then list of courses it will be returned to list as this uh, might be. Now we're going to uh, make a new uh, make a new function, and that will be in case of get single. And my laptop is still heating till now I don't know why so and that will be uh, that will be returned at just a course and then we just say and get single and that will be a sync process again try catch an error and that will uh, through Uh, simplify error and then we'll pass simplify error here and the try catch a block we're going to uh, check if there is a, if there is a UID because should uh, get single should accept a new ID here so we say UID and then what we're going to do is take the final and then we say the response so this will take response and then it will wait and then say just client get and here what we're going to do is using the uh, string interpolation for using the uh, the data so we'll say base which is the same and the, the base uh, the base uh, the base API and here we pass our uh, UID and that's uh, what we did in math, uh, what we did and we said inside in memory data, this is the path segments. And now what we do is just return again course from uh, JSON. 
and that will be our response no need for other thing the course will handle uh, the error uh, for undefined uh, for undefined uh, variables or for undefined parameters So uh, and we uh, we catch some error here. So one of them is uh, no, it's just one. So uh, is that when we pass the from JSON, this will accept an uh, map string data, which is a JSON file. But our response here, it will be just a response uh, type. So you forgot to actually to use the extract data, and that will be the response. That's it for this part. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.